Have you ever tried to communicate with a person and you can't get through? And every time you feel like there's a breakthrough, you get stopped at the goal line? Well, I have the solution for you. Welcome to Talk to Communicate, where we discuss all things communication, conflict, and negotiations. I'm Steve Mehta, a communication specialist, an attorney, and professional mediator for over 29 years. How would you like to have your message or sales pitch bypass all objections and go directly to the emotional center of your audience's brain? Well, the secret to that is simple. In today's environment, you have very little time to get your message across to the audience. One of the best ways to get that message across is by using metaphors. In fact, using metaphors bypasses much of the objections that you might normally get by using other methods of persuasion. Well, first, what is a metaphor? A metaphor is a form of analogy that compares the known to the unknown. It provides a sensory and learning tool to teach abstract and new concepts quickly. A metaphor can allow you to have a bird's eye view or it can get you down into the weeds. It's a shortcut for the brain, which constantly needs to make sense of the unknown. Well, if you wanna know one of the best types of metaphors, stick around and I'll let you know about that later. The secret to the metaphor is that they've been scientifically proven to bypass the logical brain system and go directly to the emotional brain center called the limbic system. The limbic system doesn't use words or logic. It has feelings. Metaphors attach directly to those feelings. Studies have shown that when the limbic system or the emotional brain centers are engaged, the logical brain systems completely shut off. For example, one study found that simply using sweet talk such as honey or sweetie or sweetie pie or other words that connected to the sweet taste engage the brain in the exact same spot as if somebody actually tasted something sweet. Another study found that referring to criminal defendants using terms that are animalistic leads towards juries wanting to retaliate more against those criminal defendants. You can see how powerful those metaphors are. Another way that metaphors are powerful is that they are shared between the speaker and the audience. People of different backgrounds can share a common feeling by using a simple metaphor. For example, if I want to talk to a person about a political change, I might discuss how changing up the quarterback can be one of the best solutions for a winning team. Other examples in daily life are, sales have gone through the roof or down in the toilets. A real estate developer might claim that he is moving the chains forward using a football metaphor. In the movie Four Christmases, Reese Witherspoon is in a relationship with Vince Vaughn and explains that she took a pregnancy test. And immediately, Vince Vaughn replies, did you pull the goalie? Well, now that you know the power of metaphors, let's figure some of the circumstances that you can use them. A few examples are, one, to soften criticism. For example, a team didn't get the sale and was outdone by a more experienced sales team at another competitor. You could say, you're the junior varsity team that went up against the varsity team and you probably weren't gonna win that game anyway. Or you're criticizing a person for messing up twice. You could say, I understand that you think it was a mistake, but lightning doesn't normally strike twice in the same place. A second way to use a metaphor is to persuade. You need someone to change and forget the past and start focusing on the future. You might say, you can't keep driving your car by looking through the rear view mirror. Another way a metaphor is helpful is it can explain a complex topic. For example, as a mediator, I have to explain how difficult a lawsuit can be on participants and that it may not end for years. I might say this is going to be a marathon and when you think that marathon is finished, you may have to run a triathlon. The metaphor allows you to get the message across without making it personal to the other person. By the way, if you were wondering about the most powerful metaphors, well, they involve sports and movies. Most people have a connection to either sports or movies and you're probably able to develop a shared experience pretty quickly. Well, if you want to learn more about how metaphors can help you communicate, look below for some of the links to books and research on the topic. Make sure to subscribe, and if you're interested in seeing more about communication strategies, click the videos above right here. We'll see you soon.